There's a fourth reason we miss red flags in the beginnings of a relationship. If you were raised to believe that people are generally and largely good, if you were taught to give, to always forgive, to always love, to always care, if you were taught to be a strong giver, 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 you will be inclined to assume that when you meet someone that breaks that pattern, when you encounter someone that doesn't feel good, you forgive. You assume it'll go away. You assume the best. And you keep assuming and you keep forgiving and you keep giving. And what you eventually realize is this feels so fucking shitty. I can't do it anymore. What you're being forced to do is break the belief system that you were raised in. The belief system that people are at the core good. And they'll always respond to good with good. And so what happens in our parenting is that if we raise children to always believe that people will act good if we just them give them good first is that we end up taking a fucking shellacking. So is it possible that the problem, the reason you missed all the red flags and went so far into a shitty relationship is not because you were raised by bad parents per se, but you were raised to believe that people should be forgiven and forgiven and forgiven. What's the antidote to this? The antidote is to teach children, to teach young people, to trust that inner feel, to trust your gut. Think about it. If you're thinking about taking that new job, taking that new career, yes, you weigh all the facts. Yes, you look at what would be best for your family. But in the end, you go with what feels right to you. Because your mentor, your advisor may be saying, yes, you should take it based on X, Y, and Z. But if it doesn't feel right to you, it doesn't feel right to you. And that's called teaching a person to trust their own intuition. So what were you taught? Have a kick-ass day.